everyone, it's Melody Lane, and I'm going to make another duct tape case. This one I made quite a while ago. I have credit cards and I, I keep stamps in here. I got two pockets there, and this is where my phone case went. That went there. So it's looking pretty awful. So we're going to recreate it, and I thought, well, I'll make a different one, but I really like this one, so I'm going to use the same colors. Last time, I used these rolls. This time, I'm going to use sheets, because look, I got them on clearance for 71 cents. Hoo-hoo. I bought a whole bunch of them. We're going to start with these, and what we need, I'm going to use, I have the three colors and rolls of duct tape to make the braided case here. We also need a empty box of cereal. But we need this, or it doesn't have to be cereal. It can be anything, like anything you want, okay? And a blade to cut it with. You need a phone case that fits your phone. I bought this at Five Below. It was, I think, $3, three to five, I don't know. Got a little ruler, got a pen, got some scissors. We're going to make this six inches by seven and a half. going to just cut one at a time. There's seven and a half. Cut very well. inches it's right here okay this is going to be the outside now we need to cut this. We're going to cut this into two strips. And I think I just want it about the size of the phone case. And we need two of them. have to be perfect. This video is in no way sponsored by Lucky Charms. Unless they like send me a year supply of Lucky Charms. That would be awesome. Okay. And what these are for is just to give a little stability to it so it's not just flimsy because I it's gonna protect my phone okay. first thing we need to do let's get the center of this I'm gonna fold it over so I will know where the center is so this is gonna be fold line In here we will need to cut this out for my camera because I use my camera a lot from my phone and the speaker I want to watch videos and hear them from my phone and actually I'm just going to cut an X over this and then here Cutting little lines so I can fold them over. So 
when we take this backing off, we'll be able to fold that over and wrap around the inside. We also want to cut those holes in here. Cut them out of here. So we're going to use this. I'm going to go right around the outside of the line because it's okay if this hole is bigger. Hmm, sounds like someone's having a party outside. Very careful when using one of these. Have an adult nearby. There we go. This side doesn't need it, just this side. Then we need to cut this purple one. And I'm going to cut the purple one five and a half inches. And I'm going to cut this one at seven inches. This is going to go on this way. So now we got to cut the hole out for this camera. Try to cut it right on the line. Okay. That will fit there. That will go there. This will go here. So I know everything's going to fit where I have that. Okay, so I'm going to set these aside for now. Put the lid back on the razor. Okay. And I'm going to make this part because I want to put that in there somehow. You just kind of rip this. Make it a little longer.
to the tripod that's holding the camera. Boy, this kind of looks blue, but it's purple. I think I'm going to use the smaller ones for the braid, and I can use the other strips for other parts. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fold this in half, or we're going to not fold it in half, but fold it to the center line. that, then fold the other half over. I'm going to use this just to hold these down so I can braid them. Okay, so now you just braid them. And I'm just folding the outside one over to the middle. Just keep going back and forth. We got that done, and I'm just going to tape this end. And I'm going to tighten up this end. So now we got a strap. Now I'm kind of wishing I would have made the purple one bigger on the inside so I could fold it over on the outside like this. But I made these the same size and so I'll just add a strip for the color of the stripe there. But first we need to take this off, take the paper backing off the duct tape. Okay, we're going to place this so it's over the holes. It's sticky, so... Center. And take this one off. Oops. Okay, got a few wrinkles, but I think it's going to be okay because it's also going to be covered up. You can smooth that out. And now this, where I put the little lines, I can push through. This one I need to cut a little bit better. Uh, 
and I'm pushing the sides up. And this will have extra tape over it anyway. So there it is. Here's my phone case. Make sure that all lines up. Alrighty. Now we have to make the pockets. Okay. I have to make it so it fits credit cards and things in. The pockets need to be a little shorter than the credit card. I'm just going to add a little mark here, the three inches, because that's where I want the credit card pockets to at least be. So that's going to be another one, and then there will be another pocket here. So I need to make sheets about three inches, and actually that is about how many inches wide this is left on here. I can use the scrap from this and that will be perfect okay and then I need to cut these about two and a half inches and then I'm just going to take another one to use this template to cut the others here's something I forgot to tell you, you might want to use this is clear acetate, and some people have used clear contact paper and just put two together. So I'm going to cut this the same size as I am going to use for the pockets. Let me cut these out first. This is just plastic from something I bought. If you're using regular duct tape and making sheets out of the duct tape, like I did in my first video, I'll put a link to it here. If you don't have the sheets and you want to make this with the duct tape strips, but because these have paper on the side and you're not going to see the inside of these, I'm just going to leave the paper on and save duct tape. I think this is going to be okay, even though it doesn't go all the way to the end. So this piece is going to go here. We're also not going to take off the paper backing. I will put a little strip. I'm going to take the strip that I made earlier. Rip it in half. And... on there just to put an edging on the on it And this is going to stick here once we put the outer edge tape all over. So we can just kind of set it there for now. 
Then we have these pieces. I'm going to cut off this white. So I was measuring them. I was not counting that on there. And this is going to go up to this first line here because this is the first pocket and then there'll be another pocket here. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut another piece here to be another pocket. I'm just going to put this on here and cut it. go here about where that second one is. Cut. Actually both a little too long. Okay, before we put anything down here, I'm going to make pockets on here. I'm going to use this strip to make little tabs on the top. So I just have this hanging from my uh, from my tripod here to get down. So I want these to all be even. There we go. Then I'm going to fold them all over. And on this pocket, let's go ahead and put a purple edging. Now this one I did not get on straight, but it's okay because it's going to be mostly covered up. First we need to get this on. You want to put a credit card or something in there to make sure it will fit. Okay, and about right there. That will be fine. Then I need another one. And on this one we're going to put teal edging over it and I do want it straight okay now I gotta plan these all in here again this time I have to tape them down you start with the top one actually I'm gonna get everything else out of the way so we can see So we're taping this down so when you stick something in there it won't go all the way down to the bottom so you can still reach it. And I'm just going to cut it off. Okay, now we're going to put the next one in. And put it right underneath that one. one 
rip it in half. And see how there's one straight edge and one ripped edge? Use the straight edge so the straight edge shows pretty. here, one packet here, and I want to add this. Okay, now I'm going to put my handle down, and I'm just going to put one little piece of tape there just to hold it for now. Because I'm putting this on the same side as the handle, I'm just going to cut little notches around the handle. And it was easier to put the handle on the other side, but because my camera's on the other side, my phone is, it, the handle was always falling in the way of the camera. And as you guys know, I like to make videos, so my phone camera is very important to me. I don't want the strap hanging down. You can actually find some of my videos and see the strap in it. We don't want that now, do we? And we also can't forget to add the strip here. So let me go ahead and do that. How long does that strip need to be? That's not long enough, so I'm going to cut it this way. I like these sheets of duct tape because it just makes things so much easier. I'm going to put the strap on here and go around to this side. So it's going to go, wow, perfect. I'm going to add this and make it a little bit longer. Just a little longer. I'm going to use sheets of duct tape so it'll have straight edges. Not a ripped edge because this will be the final outer edge. with this. You have to push down here before you get it away. I'm going to flip this over. Get out of here with charms. want to get over these pockets here 
so they'll close and nothing will come out the end here. So we got over this pocket here, we got over the edge here. Uh oh, we forgot this pocket. Oopsie daisy. You believe I forgot the pocket? After I'm just saying, put this over the pockets. There we go. I slid it in there. I don't know what happened there. How many of you caught that? He's trying to yell at me and tell me I missed something. Wouldn't be my first time missing it. Oh, this still isn't right. I want to match this up on this side. To get the right amount of purple. And the side down there. A little extra purple there. I made a little square here. I'm gonna put here. Get that corner. go. You got two pockets. You got that. And now I'm just going to put some across here and across here. So I just cut another strip for that.
this one will fit. There, now I'm just putting two little pieces across here. I cut them to fit. And they have to be the same color so it looks like they're made that way. I'm just going to glue the phone case only to this half of it so it can like stand up like this. See? Won't that be awesome? We are going to finish this up. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. I've needed this for so long. And we're going to put this right here. I'm going to put adhesive, well, hot glue on this side of this. And I need another stick of glue in here. Oh, I don't have this on hot either. That should be enough. Get these over the holes. Press that down. And then I'm gonna, I want this to be a little loose because by the time I get all my driver's license, and I have business cards and stuff in here. It needs a little extra room. So this is little Velcro dots. And I stuck them together. Each side is sticky. Press that down. Press it down each way like this. And then right on top of there, I'm going to stick a zebra rhinestone. And it is sticky, but I feel it's not sticky enough. Because I think I had one on there before that came off. So I'm just going to add just a dot of hot glue. And also stick it on there just to make sure it's on there good. So here is my old one and my new one. This one's much better. Oh, I forgot. These don't fit in. I have to do a little slice there. So what I do is just slice a little hole, little slits on each side. I did this on the old one too. Some stamps. We'll put those in here. Let's put my phone in. camera and look I can totally see there's no strap in my way like there is the strap I had over here 
and it was always falling in the way. Awesome! There we go. There we have my phone case and wallet. Thanks for watching, guys. I love you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! I want to thank my patrons for all their support. I really appreciate everyone for watching, commenting, liking, and sharing my videos. Thanks to all my subscribers. And a shout out to Barbara Wharf, Deborah McGuire, Shelly McLean, Sandra Ramos, Sheree Barras, Rachel Pathrope, and Melinda Strange, and Evelyn Webb. Thanks.